I'm John Hennebury, 70 years old. Linda, 67. Some are up in Port Townsend, Washington, where our son lives and works at the in the health club there. So we started, I generally just do yoga and running. And I, when I get up to Washington, I started doing classes that incorporated some weight training. So uh, I wanted to continue in the winters. And I looked online, what's, what's around, what's around, and I see the senior CrossFit. I go, this looks interesting. So I call up Cheryl. This happened two or three times at the end of every summer. Then when I get down to Ranch Mirage, I'm busy hiking club, and I just never come over here. Didn't really come. We like the idea of senior CrossFit. My brother's a trainer in Illinois. He visits every Christmas. He had looked up Cheryl online also. He gets here and he goes, we're going to, uh, we're going over to CrossFit. I'm paying for you two today. So we, that was like two years ago? Yeah, two years ago Christmas. And first class, we were hooked ever since. We, you know, when we're in the desert, we don't like, unless I'm working, I'm a photographer, unless I'm on a job out of town, I don't, do not like to miss my CrossFit. And she's the only one offering senior CrossFit that I've seen anywhere. So. I've been a gym rat for a billion years, but um, what really interested me about CrossFit was the different workouts, always changing. And I had reservations about, yeah, just the whole main CrossFit, the heavy-duty psych on, you see on TV with giant weights and people doing crazy things. So I was always a little leery. And um, so when I came with Walter and John here, I was really impressed. And I really liked the idea of a class focus for our age group. That was really cool, too. For me, it's going much better than I thought it was going to go. I do have a very bad back. I have deteriorated vertebrae since I was a kid, uh, at like 16 and 17. And got down here, I think Cheryl's expertise and really keeping an a eagle eye on you and kind of knowing what you do, she's actually got me up to some weights that I would never have dreamed I would be doing. Yep. I feel when I leave the class, I feel really good. It's like when I leave yoga, it's a different feeling, but CrossFit's a different feeling, but both feelings are very, feel very good. I'm just blessed that I came along and, and can incorporate and met Cheryl and incorporate this stuff into my life. What's changed more is, it's not so much changed as doing different things or things that I always thought I'll never do. I'll never be able to do a pull up. Well, yeah, there is a way to do a pull-up. There's assisted bands, and there's steps to take to get there so you don't just jump over to a bar and think you're going to do a pull-up at 67. So, um, Also, I've done things with weights here that I had never done before, you know, the bars and all that. I'd never done that. So, yeah, things like that changed. In the gym, it's really fun with the group that I got, you know, all political persuasions, but I keep my mouth shut, and I love everyone, even even with their, some of their political persuasions. It's really funny how that works. And uh, so that's a real camaraderie, We're working with people here. That's really been fun. And out of the class, you just feel kind of more confident, you know, you stand more up capable. straighter. Yeah. It's, a real, it's, it's really kind of cool to think that, you know, next 10 years, I'm going to be 80 in 10 years. That's scary. I feel good, though. I'm going to go down fighting with CrossFit, and, you know, <laughs> no doubt. In the gym, uh, I agree. I just really like all the people, uh, all the people in general from the other classes or not. Uh, I really like everybody. Um, out of the gym, uh, I think just, yeah, a feeling of, uh, strength through the day or in situations like I think I'm not going to fall over or might crash my bike but <laughs> uh, general strength I think. 
Cheryl makes <laughs> Desert CrossFit <laughs> special. Cheryl's no, a guru. That's absolutely, CrossFit. absolutely true. Absolutely yeah. true. She knows um, what she's doing. The people are pretty awesome. Uh, the now. people are awesome. People are awesome. The whole thing, but to have the foresight to do uh, yeah, a class I think for the seniors and call it CrossFit is pretty, pretty, very. You know, takes a lot of. The friendliness of everybody yeah. that comes in, whether they're in our class or not, is really great. You know, a lot of times at the gym, a regular gym, nobody talks to anybody, right. or you're right next to somebody and they don't even say hi. So class is over. Everybody goes home, and, uh, and we go and do stuff. Yeah. yeah, well, we, we, we feel like a little bit of a family. It feels like everybody worries. If somebody's not there, they're always worrying. Well, uh, I, better push-ups. <laughs> I shouldn't say that to a teacher. <laughs> it's a yeah, dangerous I'd like to go to down and, and bands on pull-ups. And uh, I'm still a little nervous about putting on a whole lot of weights and doing squats, but you know, surrender a little bit. I'm not here and I'm on the road. I'll, I'll take the, uh, you know, I'll do air squats, I'll do burpees uh, if it's not my yoga day, and I'll, uh, and I'll do a quarter mile run and, and I do it. Awesome. I'll, I'll pretend yeah. like I'm pretend like I'm doing the second part of the class and really try to get my heart rate up. I wouldn't have done that before. It depends where we, where we are, you know, so. But we all, we never go too many days, no matter what, without a workout, be it, be it yoga or CrossFit. Uh, it just, that's what I do, that I, that I do.